Hey everyone, welcome to Initiative Night. This is a super important night for everyone here in the SGA, uh, specifically the Senate. Right. So one of the things that we are tasked to do when elected senators is actually create initiatives to represent the student body. Um, we do this by coming up with ideas we think will benefit the students on um, whether it's free mental products like we have um, this year or creating new spaces on campus for students to study. Um, moving the Trugit statue is one of my favorite um, initiative ideas that had been passed along. Um, all the way to much more serious ones like holding the police accountable um, and and uh, working with um, We Believe You, a sexual uh, assault advocacy group on campus um, to make sure that things um, like, you know, victim support are there on campus. Um, so it's a big part of what we are as the SGA. Um, I'm a true believer that it, it, it can create really positive change on campus. Um, it sort of represents the best of student government um, because it's all about students getting together, senators getting together, um, and finding ways that we can improve campus. Um, Right, and that, that's what it's all about. That's what SJ is all about. Um, so I sort of I sort of love the idea, and it's it's something I'm really passionate about. Um, in the past, I've had several initiatives, but the one I'm currently working on is pretty exciting. Um, now, this one is specific to a community on campus. Um, what I'm working on is actually the Greek LLC idea. Um, now, if anyone's familiar with the LLC concept on UMBC's campus, it's super cool. Um, I was in an LLC when I was a freshman, uh, the Shriver LLC, which is dedicated to service um, and service service learning, service service in the community, um, et cetera. So it's, it's a cool thing. It's a really interesting idea. Um, you're able to live with people that sort of live and breathe the same idea as you do. Um, there's the uh, there's several. I mean, there's there's the uh, Center for Women in Technology. Um, there are different scholar programs. I know the Honors College has an LLC. Um, so these are all different LLCs. Um, so the idea that I'm working on as part of the Greek community is a Greek LLC, where different members of the Greek community can actually live together um, and sort of collaborate one of the things I think this really does is help bring a sense of um, greater belonging for the Greek community on campus. Um, for most of you that know, we don't you know we don't have Greek housing. Greek life isn't a huge part of campus life, um, and that's awesome. That that I think is sort of what's unique about UMBC and gives a lot of room for other organizations on campus um, that you might not see on other campuses, which is super cool. And I'm I'm really passionate about that. I think that's really cool. Um, but I think that what would be nice is if we could see a um, a space where Greeks can come together. Um, sort of network um, and really kind of cross paths with one another. Um, a lot of times in the Greek communities, you know, we don't have a lot of connections outside of our own organizations, um, unless you sort of have friends with people in those organizations prior. Um, sometimes it can feel sort of competitive, um, and it, it shouldn't be that way. And that's why I think that this LLC idea would really bring people together, um, not just in you know the the different councils of Greek life, which are the IFC, PHA, NPHC, and um, MGC. Um, we don't, you know, we don't always cross paths with people from other councils, so that's really awesome. Um, and so, you know, getting outside of the IFC, for instance, and meeting more people from the MGC, I think that really broadens sort of our all of our horizons um, as a Greek community on campus. And I think it's really important that that is sort of fostered and and challenged because I think too often, you know, everyone sort of has these ideas, but they don't always get shared. Um, these ideas of, of, you know, how we can better our own chapters and our own Greek experiences um, that, you know, maybe there's other chapters that are doing it, but ours isn't. Um, and so how can we kind of branch out and, and meet other people and, and make new um, make new acquaintances and new connections throughout the community, um, I think is is a really good idea. And I do have to say, though, this this idea is not my own. Um, I, I'm working with, um, <clears throat> excuse me, with another um, another executive officer on this um a, a uh, an executive appointment from the executive branch, um, so which is awesome because it allows us uh, in the legislative branch to collaborate with the executive branch. Um, so that's really important as well. And I'm excited to pursue this. Um, we're hoping that the timeline on this can actually be within the next few years. Um, and honestly, I think we can do it within the next year and a half, two years, depending on COVID and, and the situation on school, of course. Um, but it's definitely something I'm passionate about, I'm excited about. Um, if you have any questions, if you are interested in this, want to get involved in this, or want to critique it anyway, my email is pat22 at umbc.edu. Um, feel free to come to my office hours, 11 o'clock on Mondays. Um, any, any way you can get in contact with me, please do. Um, and I would love to hear from you, um, the constituents. So with that, have a happy initiative night, a happy Monday, and go Retrievers.